Hi everyone, I'm Emmy van Thiel, I'm back again. Theo cut my hair around three months ago, so it's very long. And yeah. I'm going to get a new haircut today. Okay. <laughs> um, but first I will turn so you can see my current hairstyle. Yeah, it's grown a lot. Yeah, it's... Uh... Very feminine. Yeah. <laughs> With a Chinese touch. A <laughs> Chinese touch, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Hello friends on YouTube. Could do Emmy's hair again. Now I've got to find out what's happening in China. Because she was <laughs> in China. You can yeah. see it on the eyes. No, it's not true. <laughs> and the yellow color of her skin. is almost also not true. <laughs> because <laughs> she wanted to have a zebra cape. Yes. I saw it and I was like, yeah. And for her, this hair is... Yeah, very long. Especially in the back. Especially in the back. Yeah. And we want to, because it's winter time in Holland, we want to grow this part a bit. So first I'm going to do nothing, just go into the hairs and see what the lines are that are now available to do this hairstyle. Now I'm certain that this side will be shorter because I think it's much slower. Yes, please. But I want also to create a contrast. In this hairstyle, I want to leave this length as long as possible. So here I just take off the underlines, make it a nice blonde line. And from upper hair I take only the tips. So now I'm certain that I have in her natural fall the hair is in a wonderful line. This line I create to the back. Show you that how I do that. So I made that line. And my hand is a bit in a difficult position, but just go in on the line of falling. And I know that I can go up at the other side. So my sisal will be more stra straight up. And so I set out my first line of cutting, knowing that the underlines will be short to create the contrast. And work till I get on the fall of the hairs on the back. So here is the fall of the hairs. I make myself first a soft blonde line. So now I can get rid of the underlines and I have a line to work on the other side because I know where I want to go on the skull bone just above that and into the rug. So now I go to the other side. I pinned out my line of course. I watch at the lines of the eyebrow line. Go in with my scissor. Lift the hairs up. And create a new top line. Go back over the same line. And in dry cutting you always know for certain that you see the lines of the natural folds. Because when you wet the hair first, you don't see them. And of course I know how, how her hair flows and goes because I did a lot of haircuts on her. So many. Yeah. <laughs> so many. So many, many hair. So many hair and styles a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's a... yeah. When I was uh, starting as hairdresser, I started as a men's hairstylist. We had to do all the haircuts dry. Really? Yeah, we had to. Do they still do that nowadays? Yes, they do, but yeah. it's, uh, I think it's better to do not because all small hairs come into the air hmm. and you breathe them in and out and in, but mostly in and they never come out. <laughs> That's convenient. Yeah, it is. So now this is the short line. You also an operatie arm with that, it's not big. Awesome stuurder. Lifting up, traveling up. In this way I'm certain that the line will be soft 
and then I work to my hard lines on the back. The sound is so nice. Yeah. Normally it's it's yeah I, it's different because it's wet. Yeah. It's fine. When, when it's wet, the, the sound is a lot softer. Yeah. Now you can hear the, yeah, the resistance of the hairs and how strong they are. Oh, but I've been longing for this for such a long time. I thought my hair was so long. So. <laughs> yeah, you get so used to pretty. short hair, of yeah. course. And when you want to have long hair, you can always wear a wig. Yeah, true. So this is my baseline of this haircut. And you see on this fall, here starts the hard line. So when I turn on a bit more, you can see that the hard lines are coming here. So I have to go to there, stay working in the natural lines, and work softly up. Now my comb is much more laying to the skin, flat because I want a lot of volume on the back. Adjust in the line. And on the lines I can do with the clipper. Also a feeling I've been looking forward to. <laughs> a clipper cousin. This clipper, oh that's so good. Now the last uh, period uh, a lot of people asked me to cut you a bald hairstyle. A bald? Well, like of course I've never had it so I can't say it's, it's no. not good but you can like you're the expert here so. Is that I think true? I'll miss my hair and I think it's also going to be really cold. Uh-huh. <laughs> no a bald. Yeah. Ball cut, a not ball. bald. A ball cut. Oh, okay. Bald is very, very, very short. Yeah. Then I'll certainly give you a wig. Yeah. <laughs> For the between. Now I don't like bald hairstyles. On me, it is wonderful because I don't have the hair for longer hair. Mm -hmm. But on women, I don't like it that much. Yeah. Then it can be short, but still there has to be hair on. Otherwise, I find it too short. And no hair at all is no hair stuff. That's true. Going to my clipper. Take first the large clipper of Kiona. Does it feel good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this feeling, but it's also when I touch my hair on the back of my head, I feel it's long. And then to hear this feeling again, and to yeah. feel this and to hear this clipper. Afterwards, mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, the skin becomes more sensual uh, by shorter hair. Yeah. And it feels like a massage almost. Yeah, that's well, true. to me. Maybe not to everyone. But. Oh, there are a lot of people are afraid of short hair. Yeah? Yeah. Well, but... But you also have to find a hairdresser who loves to cut short hair. That's what I was about to say. Like, if you... I mean, I trust you, so then I don't have to be worried, right? So you mm. can just do whatever you want. It'll look in the end anyway, so we can use a clipper. But thank God I'm you have a worried. mirror by now. <laughs> so you can watch... In the between, into the mirror and see it's what's true, happening. I have a mirror now. It's a bit hard to do for me because I'm sitting on the side now, so not straight in front of her. But otherwise, you wouldn't see anything. So. It's to make a good YouTube video is always hard to do, mm. especially without a cameraman. 
Oh, woman. But I manage. Yeah. Just to clean up a bit. My adjustments to the holy bone section. Then I give it to the back. Yeah, the eye thing was also gone. Donker. And that fell me that razo up. Because then, if so to see from the achterkant of my head or so, then is it light and then a donker underlaag. And it's not so erg, but it's a little tiny height from the whole donker. Yeah, that's cool. There are other people who are still very light blond. Yeah. Yeah. Nu laten we wel weten, het is ook zo, maar ik ben mijn best te wenden. Ja. En ik wou nou wat veel van doen. Heb je, heb je dat nooit gehad? Alleen een klein stukje. Een stukje heb ik toch gehad. Ja. ja. Keer eens in, hè? Ja? ja, maar ook voor blauwe huid? Ja, ja, zeker. Van die hele mooie, heldere, gele kleuren, die frisse gele kleuren. Heel erg in. Ik uh, ben heel goed. <laughs> ja, ik zit maar te kidden. Zwart is in, dus uh, ja, helemaal zwart haar. Ja, lijkt me niks. Voor jou. Ik Het vooral in de winter een hele blonde geloof. Ja, ik ook. Het zit wel sneeuw, uh, ijs. Maar je hebt ook meer huiskleuren. Ja. Ik ga Joost ook filmen dadelijk, hè? Hmm. Holding the natural lines of the contour. So now I can go to the longer part of her hair. And the connection is soft enough afterwards. Oké. Okay. Made this part in freehand style, so now I'm going to work this out. Take the hairs up, twist them a bit, so I turn the hairs up, so I get a softer line. And still working in dry hair. And hold the way my fingers go in the same lines as the skull lines flow. So I Adopt the lines of a skull. So when I come here, you see that I lift my fingers up, turn them to the center of the neckline, and so I get the turn into that hair. And the more I come to the front, the more I get into the lines of the eyeball line. This I do with the graduation. So first I take it down, straight down, then lift them up in the line of the eyeball line. So my fingers lay in the same line as that line. So it's certain that my lines connect to her lines. That makes this wonderful relation. <laughs> always watch behind the ears. There's always some hairs hiding. I don't want to be cut. Yeah, I already spotted them. Well, I felt them. Yeah. So you take them to the front and then take the ear to the front, watch in the underlines, take away the small hairs that are hiding behind the ears into the whole line of the ear. Now here's a little rest over of a, a collar from uh, three months ago. Yeah, a bit bluish. Yeah. And on this line I do the same. Take the hairs softly down, lay my fingers in the line of cutting and graduate it a bit. And by lifting them up, I create this softness into the line. See how wonderful the flow is of this line.
Now just have to watch what the hairs do. Because the length is wonderful. I just give it that rounding. Especially on this part. Here's the hardest part because the hairs want to travel like this and like that. So here you always have a part that travels a bit different in a way. You always see this also when you cut a bob. Mostly the hairs in this part stick out afterwards. So you have to be aware of that, that you create that line in the natural folds. Maar je hebt daar wel goed water in, Gesina. Maar ik zo zie hoe goed je haar is. <laughs> of was je het met flesjes? Nee, nee, met gewoon water uit de haar. Zit er chloor in of zo? Ja, er zit Ja, er zit wel chloor in. Het smaakt een beetje naar chloor. Je kunt het niet echt drinken. Dat scheelt het met tanden poetsen. Ja. Dat klopt, ja. Coming to the upper hairs. Take them over to the right side. There will be no connection to the short part. And take off only small parts of the length. Is ook iemand trouwens nu achtergrondmuziek aan het maken voor me? Oh, wat goed. Dus dat ik geluid heb, wat ik zelf mooi vind, industrieel geluid. Ja. Zonder muziek, maar waar je altijd in kunt knippen. Is je dat aan het opnemen in een werkplaats of zo? Ja, ja ik weet niet. Het maar. Ja. Dat mag je mij doen wat hij wil. Ik heb al gezegd, je kunt bij uh, de geld bij jou ook langs gaan. Ja. ja. Je kunt alle geluid in elkaar plakken. Hè. En dan een beat van maken. Ja. Ja, zeker waar. At the back, in this section, I take the hairs up, pull them over, because I want to have this rounding into the hairs. Denglish. Yeah, Denglish. So now I take this thinning scissor of Kiona, go in, and only soften the line in the back. And always after coloring, adjust the line a bit. The same I do on top, only the ends I take up, but not the hardness in the underlines. When I was in China I also had some days that I I was kind of like, okay, what shall I do with my hair? And I brought the, the red shampoo yeah. with me. So then I dyed my hair, well, with the red shampoo, and yeah, it became orange. pink. Pink. Pink, <laughs> light pink. And then the students were like, oh my God. What did you do? Wow. <laughs> they were like, they didn't expect it, especially not from a teacher, I guess. <laughs> oh, I think so. Too. It was really nice. So now I can make her a call. Yeah. Yay. Een sterrenlieverd, jij. <laughs> Oké, okay, I made her a bleach. Made her a bleach with uh, 20 volume. Put in a little bit fire blonde. Start with the outgrow. Applying it from the natural fall and then on the hairs. And as always, I put a conditioner into the bleach. Jeukt het? Ja, dat is een nadeel van droog. Ja.
Of je ook zo naar een bakje. Ik zou alleen de linkerkant. Ja, dat is gevaarlijk. Ja. Oké, okay, take a little bit cartoon wig. Lay the front of the bleach. So the plastic don't touch the skin. Close my plastic foil and then mostly in her case is 20 minutes to wait. And then she is platinum blonde. So don't go away. <laughs> And in the meantime, I will do a, her boyfriend. He's also here, and he is also on YouTube. You see that? <laughs> so, stay tuned. Yeah, <laughs> right on. Hi, I'm Joost, and well, I'm here at Theo, so I'm getting a new haircut. Yes. And I'm gonna turn for you guys. Maybe a bit too fast. No. <laughs> It's not uh, Marx's stuff. Here <laughs> we go. Okay, we're back from coloring. Now put on of uh, attitude uh, violet toner because I want to get rid of all the yellows, all the yellows that stay behind. So make it a little bit more violet. We already did that because when you wash it one time, it's totally clean. But I want to get a cool color in. So I need to get rid of all the gold colors in front of that. That's why I put in this product. You can buy it online. It's, it's, yeah, you see it on the package. It's, it's from Attitude and you, it's supplied by Rofair. It looks nice like this. Yeah. <laughs> like purple glow. I love the color very much. And it smells really nice. Yeah. Start blow drying with a medium brush. Now the hair is dry enough to show you this hairstyle. I don't put anything in it because I want to color it. But first I'll show you how wonderful this is. She will turn so you can see it. Yep. Yeah, you may turn around. You see how nice violet colors these are. And the glow of the hair. Yeah. And the skin. And the feel, it feels yes. thick. Yeah. Like. It will be even thicker. Ooh. Making a product. Okay, back making color. This product I use the most is uh, from uh, Goldwell, and I put in some blue, so I make a mix of these colors, and I put in a, a conditioner to clear the color a bit, so it's, the hair will be more in condition even after this. Now I'm going to wet it because a bit, not much, just a little bit moist on it, and then I apply that on my hair. And that color, that is the Illumin Play, will stay in the hair for uh, about a week or two and disappears out of the hair without uh, leaving something behind. And if she's going to swim, it's out in one good hour swimming. Yeah, so I'll, let's not do that. No, stay out of the water. <laughs> Applying this on the hairs. Leave this on for uh, 15 minutes. But I already told you there's a lot of conditioner into this color. It smells very good again. Yeah. <laughs> it's always nice to smell this product. Yeah. I have to say, like, nowadays a lot of products sounds very, uh, smell very soft, but sometimes it's still very, like, chemical. Mm -hmm. And this, even though it's chemical, of course, but it doesn't smell that. But the chemicals in, in the hair and in the products I use, I break down by the conditioners I put oh, in. Yeah. So I seal the products a bit and make sure the hair stays in a wonderful condition because that's the most important thing. Yeah. Especially when you have uh, hair like this, you can damage it very easy. Yeah. You don't want that to happen. Therefore, it's my love for you to pick. <laughs> I never destroy hair. I don't like it. No. 
and explain to the people who are watching now what you did in China. What I did in China? Yeah, because it's fair. You, you went to China, but not for only for fun or as a tourist. No, not only for fun. No, so um, uh, Joost and me, we teach at a university. Um, we teach design, design thinking, uh, new media design, visual communication design. Um, and we teach at Hunan Normal University, uh, which is uh, kind of like an art school. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we teach design there. And it's really nice because now we taught students who were also like, um, we taught them last semester as well. So we go to China twice a year for about two and a half months each time. So we saw the same students again. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was really nice because mm -hmm. then you already know you get a little to learn bit. Them also. Yeah, and you know how to like what they need to be more like stimulated to do more mm -hmm. and, and to the achieve reactions more. They give. Yeah, exactly. So that was good, and they already got used to us a little bit. This was also good, of course, because we're the crazy teachers over there, yeah. the weirdos who teach in a very different way than what they're used to. <laughs> so in the beginning, all the students always have to get used to that for the mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. like two weeks. Um, but this was this 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 was good because they already knew us. So. <laughs> and then Joost, and you have also your own business. Yeah, so we have a design business, and uh, we also have an online academy. And the nice thing is that we can combine all the design that we do uh, also in in the online academy, so yeah. we can teach all over the world. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, and this is. This is nice because then we can also combine like different points of view from different cultures because we learn a lot in China. Um, so while, while so teaching, it up also. yeah, it's yeah, you get so many China. new perspectives, and it's it's really nice not only for the students but also for us as teachers. So yeah, uh, we and have also a lot of students from China in our seven. Yeah. Because the university is laying nearby. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they made the app for our seven. Oh really? Yeah, so we do a lot of Chinese people. Yeah. And yeah. they're very funny to do because in the first time they are very closed. Mm -hmm. But when they open up, they are very funny people. Yeah. That's exactly my experience as well. That's why I like going there so much. Yeah. And then we learn so much and then it's it's only I feel that I have to share this. But th those who want to visit money. you on your website. Yeah. What ha do they have to look for? On the internet. So they go to my full name, emmyvontiel.nl. Um, and when you go there. Um, I write it in the video. Yeah, yes, please. Um, and then I uh, have a, an ebook that you can download, uh, a checklist, so you can start immediately. But the nice thing is also at the last week of January, um, I will also start a challenge uh, to change your mindset to become more creative, confident, let's say. Oh and this is something, God. yeah, yeah. This is something I've been working towards for a while already. It's been in my head for a while, and now we're really going to do it. So, and it's a free challenge, so you can subscribe, and it's uh, it's going to be really cool. I wonder if there are people watching this video and going to do this. Yeah, let us know in the comments. That will be really, really cool. Yeah. Yeah, we can always read the comments and then go yeah. back on them. Yeah, exactly. And you're very welcome to join. As I said, it's a free challenge because I just want to share all the knowledge, all the things that we learned. Yeah, that you do the same as I do. Yeah, that's what I learned from you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell them that. They come all to learn. And it's also nice because we went to, uh, 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 to Thailand as well. We went to a, a Thai Buddhist monastery. And all the things we learned there about mindset are so closely related to like creativity and being more confident while creating. Mm -hmm. So uh, the challenge is also um, uh, yeah, related to that. So it's going to be really mind-blowing, yeah. Okay, I said all the things in the video so you can find them. Yes. So we're going for 50 minutes out and then we'll be back for styling last time. Okay, we're back uh, from uh, the last color. So now the hair is in a wonderful condition. It's a wonderful color. It's the wet version. But as you already know, Water still dropping off. And then you shall take a beach spray. Always shake it before you use it. it adds more volume to the hairs. And all this is also delivered with a conditioner in it. Starting again blow drying with a medium brush. I start in the longer hair.
the sofa blow drying. First hair spray I'm going to use is a designer spray. The wonderful thing of a designer spray is that you can play through the hairs and it though it sticks. The second spray is a bit harder. This is Emmy's new color and new hairstyle. I thank her for being my model. I thank you for watching. The next time she will be certainly in a different color. You will also see her boyfriend. You hear it sometimes between the video, but <laughs> he is also on YouTube and he is the next video in line on this video. So she will turn. You will get all the things related to Emmy in the lines. Yes. I think above because then you can see the whole video. So you can find her on the internet and see what she already does in this world. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. So I will hey. turn out yeah. for my beautiful new haircut. And color. And color. And I'm so happy with this. Thank you so much, Theo. You're more than welcome, love. See you. Bye. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Emmy Vatil. I'm back again. Theo cut my hair around three months ago, so it's very long. And yeah. I'm going to get a new haircut today. Okay. <laughs> uh, but first I will turn so you can see my current hairstyle. Yeah, it's grown a lot. Yeah, it's... Uh, very feminine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With a Chinese touch. With a Chinese touch, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much.